So I want to talk to you about something that happened to me recently. Now, I have a great nephew who is going to be two in the summer. And before he was born, my parents and I did the responsible, sane thing. We went out and we got our Tdap booster. And feeling a little bit snarky because one of my relatives was like, oh, toxins. We took a photo for Instagram. And I'm sorry, I don't know how to edit and insert the photo, but this is it. Well, now keep in mind, this photo is over a year old. It was taken in June of 2016. And Friday night, uh, you know, an anti-vaxxer found it and started going off about how I needed to stay away from my great nephew because of setting and how dangerous vaccines are. Admittedly, I should have taken the high ground and just blocked her and deleted her moronic and wrong comment. But I lost my temper with her and called her some names and used the F word and everything and told her, you know, please don't breed, you know, and if you already have children, please give them up for adoption to somebody who will vaccinate them. And that, of course, brought out her anti-vaxxer buddies. And I had to spend the next 48 hours blocking and deleting and blocking and deleting. And yes, I lost my temper with them every single time. And I know I shouldn't have. I should not have went their route. But their stupidity really, really got me angry because they kept going on about vaccines do shed and vaccines are dangerous. And, and you're wrong. And oh, that dreaded phrase, do your research. You know what research they do? They go type in vaccines cause autism or vaccines are bad in Google. Go, go, seriously, go to Google right now and just start typing the word vaccines. I guarantee you those will be the top two search terms that you will find that will pop up a suggestion. And it's not because it's true, because it's not true, right? It's because people type it in so much. And I know I shouldn't have cursed at them. I should not have compared them to Casey Anthony and, and Susan Smith and all that and but that's what I did. Uh, it just really, really made me angry. And I'm sorry. Vaccines are safe. Vaccines do not cause autism. This is a scientific fact, people. Vaccines do not shed. And unless you're allergic to something in the vaccine, there is absolutely no such thing as vaccine injuries. Vampires are more real than vaccine injuries because if you go look up some medical things, you will find um, medical problems that match vampirism of, according to folklore, almost word for word. And you got all these people that are going on about, oh, you know, vaccine, autism is something new. It never happened before vaccines. Okay. I want you to go look up a bit of folklore. It's called the changeling child. And this is from fairy, fairy folklore. And according to the folklore, fairies cannot have healthy children. And in order to have a healthy child, they will make their child look exactly like a human child and change their child, their unhealthy fairy child for a healthy human child. And if you look at the descriptions of a personality and everything of a changeling child, it's almost word for word a child with autism. So autism has been around for thousands of years. All right. It's just that it used to be blamed on the fairies and not on vaccines. Autism has always existed. And it's just it's absolutely ridiculous. I think one of the reasons why it makes me so angry is because, again, we are following, people are mindlessly following the words of a few celebrities, you know, and that just disgusts me because I know people who change their religion, their diet, their political affiliation, according to whoever their favorite celebrity of the month is. One week, they're a Buddhist Democrat. The next week, they're a Catholic Republican, all depending on who they're worshiping on the altar of celebrity, you know. Uh, vegan in this week, complete mediator to that next week. It's just ridiculous. They don't think for themselves. And 
you know, I'm sorry. I love Barry Manilow. I think his music is awesome. I think he is the greatest singer songwriter of all time. I would do just about anything to do a duet with him. You know, I want to sing with him so, so much, so very much. But if he tried to tell me who to vote for or told, you know, told me to try this weird medicine, which I don't think he would. He does. He seems to be sensible. But if he told me to try this weird medicine that is completely unproven and therefore is not really a medicine. I would tell him to mind his own business because I think for myself. All right. And that's what people with the vaccines need to start doing is they need to stop listening to a celebrity who got her result from a fraud. Right. He's a fraud. He's been proven, you know, it was a birthday party and nobody's been able to du duplicate his results. It's all, you know, and they need to stop listening to her and other celebrities that have listened to her and start actually thinking for themselves and actually looking at real research. You know what they found the cause of autism actually is? We all have so many neurosynaptic connections in our brain. And we, are, we are, start out with a lot of them. And then at a certain point in our development, our body has a gene that sends a message to prune them. And people with autism do not prune their neurosynaptic connections like they're supposed to. That is what causes autism. This is a proven fact now. They can actually have, I believe they can actually detect autism while you're, before you're even born at this point. So this whole, that, that proves right there that vaccines have nothing to do with it, you know, because you're not vaccinated until after you're born. And there's no such thing as vaccine injuries. So it's just, it just made me angry. Yes, I shouldn't have cursed. Um, and even though I do feel, in my opinion, because measles does kill people, rubella does kill people, uh, polio does kill people, if you choose not to vaccinate your child and somebody dies because your child got sick and exposed them, then as far as I'm concerned, you're a murderer and your child is a murder weapon. I'm very sorry, you know, but I probably shouldn't have said you know, you might as well change your name to Casey Anthony or Susan Smith. Yeah, that, that is one of the things that I said. Now, I don't know if all the comments got deleted. If I was on my computer when the comments came through, I could open their profile and new page and block them while deleting their comments. Some people, because it was on my phone or on my tablet, I just block them. And I don't know if that automatically deletes their comments. Um, there's a possibility that if you find this photo, besides my ranting and railings and calling them names, you might see some of the comments from these people. Of course, I want you to know that everything that they say is wrong. And vaccines do not shed. Vaccines don't make you sick unless you're allergic to something in them. I mean, think about the flu shot. They're always telling you if you're allergic to eggs, don't get the flu shot. So, yeah, you can be allergic to a vaccine. But, you know, unless you unless you're allergic, there is no such thing as vaccine injuries. And the the viruses in vaccines are dead. They are already dead. All right. So just go over and get vaccinated. And you people that are refusing to give your pets rabies vaccines, you don't deserve to have pets. All right. Your dog is not going to get the autism from a rabies vaccine. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't have cursed at them. Um, and I know I should have just deleted their comments, but I'm sorry. This just made me so angry. Now, so far, they seem to be leaving me alone. I'm probably not going to be able to have comments on this particular YouTube video because, you know, I'm just going to go through this crap all over again with them. Vaccines are safe. Vaccines save lives. Vaccines do not shed Vaccines are something everybody should do, period. End of discussion. Go get vaccinated. Go vaccinate your children. Go vaccinate your pet. I had chicken pox as a kid. So did all three of my brothers. You know, one of my brothers, his case of chicken pox was so bad 
that I won't, he had a certain part of the male anatomy actually had it inside and it made it very difficult for him to go to the bathroom. Now that there's a chicken pox vaccine, go get it. I cannot wait to be able to get the shingles vaccine. I've asked the doctor so many times, but it's like, you have to wait till you're 65. It's like, oh, I don't want to wait 23 years. I want it now. But apparently it's not effective unless you get it when you're older. Because I'm going to get shingles if I don't get the vaccine because I've had chicken pox. So, yeah, just go get vaccinated. Stop with this nonsense. Stop listening to what celebrities say because they don't have a medical degree. And even with, you know, that, the, the doctors that are going around saying th that vaccines are bad, notice that they're always trying to sell stuff on their websites. They don't care. They, they, they don't actually believe. They just want money. They see an opportunity to make themselves rich off of people's fears. Go get vaccinated. Thank you.